Hey guys, welcome back to the Storkerville YouTube channel. I have another product review for you, and it's another item that I actually got for free. VPeak emailed me and asked me if I would like to do a review on this, and I saw what the product was, an OBD2 Bluetooth scan tool. What? Of course I do. I've been wanting one of these for a long time, so when they offered it for free, I was like, yes, please, yes, I will review this one. So, here it is. I'm really excited to see what kind of information we can get from it. It connects to either an uh, iOS or Android device. And obviously I haven't used it yet. So we're going to show you how you use it. We're going to pull up an app, see how it works, and uh, all that. So here's a little instruction manual here. It says, let's see. Install the app on your phone. They apparently don't have their own specific app. It is just any OBD2 scanner app, and apparently there's a bunch of them. We'll take a look at that here in a second also. Locate the port on your car. Turn on the ignition or start the vehicle. It also says enable Bluetooth for iOS. Do not and for iOS do not and no need to pair with VPeak. For Android, pair using pin number 1234. So the pin number is 1234. We'll have to remember that. I have a little tag that comes with it. Need help? Like it? <laughs> so here's the device itself. Take it out of the little phone packaging it's in. It says VPeak OBD Check BLE. Also, I'll put a affiliate link down below to Amazon, which is um, where they sent it to me from. I don't know if you can get it in other places. Maybe on their website, VPeak.com. But I'll put an Amazon link down below to check that out. All right, guys. Let's look at the app and then go plug this thing in and see what kind of information we get from it. So we got our port right there. Little guy right there. And you can see lights up as soon as we got it plugged in. And we'll get back to the app and see uh, what we get. So we got it plugged in, turned the car on, and when I look through my available Bluetooth uh, options, we see the V peak there. And we need the pin number, which we saw was one, two, three, four. Going through the Play Store, I downloaded these two apps the OBD Harry app and the OBD Fusion app. Now, both of these have free and premium versions. Pretty much every option that I saw in the Google Play Store had a free option with a premium upgrade. I did contact these two companies and they were willing to give me a free full version so I could do this video. So I appreciate them and I'll leave links down below if you want to check out either of these two apps. But let's see uh, one by one how they function. First we'll do the OBD Harry app. And if you click the menu in the upper left hand corner, go to app settings. Here you can choose what type of item you have under connection type, if it's Wi-Tie or Bluetooth. Wi-Tie, did I say Wi-Tie? Wi-Fi or Bluetooth? And then you have also um, the list of Bluetooth devices. So we're going to get vehicle information. Move this out of the way. Yes, we want to connect. So it's going to connect to the ELM 327, which is basically like what all of these Bluetooth OBD2 scanners are called. So once we get connected, we can re read and clear codes. You see the check engine lights off, brand new truck, better be. Uh, no trouble codes. You can see and get an idea of the different kind of information you can get off of the app. You know, these little Bluetooth scanners have gotten so cheap compared to what any kind of OBD2 scanner has been over the last couple of years. It's really cool to see all you get for such a little price, especially right on your phone here. Uh, we'll do a little bit more actually in motion and driving with these apps, but for now I just want to show you uh, just sitting with the car on. You have a fuel system status, engine coolant temperature, 140 because I did have the engine running a second ago as I played around with them. We have the RPM zero, obviously speed zero. So some of the live data you can get. Monitor test. Freeze frame, we don't have anything to show there. The charts thing was pretty neat. When the engine's running again, I'll show you. Um, well, let's start it up so you can look at it. Yeah, 
here. We'll do RPMs with the temperature, then we'll CC. So it's awesome data to get trying to diagnose a problem with the car or just playing around. So that's the OBD Harry Pro app. Onto the second app that we're going to check out for this video, the OBD Fusion app. So you open it up, there's a connect button at the bottom. You can see it's bringing up our V Peak. And again, we have settings. And there's a ton of different uh, things you can change there. I've already changed it over to like miles per hour and foot pounds and all those things. Hit diagnostics, we can get the trouble codes, which Obviously, no trouble codes have been detected because there better not be any. The dashboard is really cool. It has all these little gauges and uh, a couple things to look at here. Uh, we have six gauges here, and if you swipe to the side, you can see we got six more gauges. Swipe again, we have a couple different gauges. And it shows you different options. But also, if you hit the menu button in the bottom left, um, add a display adds just another one of these gauges or add a dashboard gives you an entire new screen so you can add different things so if we hit add display say we want a radio gauge and you can choose what you want so fuel we have instant fuel total fuel economy fuel rate we have different sensors um, all your different options so let's just say we wanted uh, engine power. Oh, my button's in the way. I go to OK. And there's our engine power in horsepower uh, gauge. And you can always edit it, do different things, or just remove it. But if you wanted, you could just add your own dashboard, put whatever you want, or edit the existing ones. So that's a pretty cool thing that we're going to check out um, once we get moving with this thing. The maps will bring up a Google map um, of where you're at, so I'm not going to open it because you don't need to know where I'm at. <laughs> like, hey, let's go to his house. Nah, let's not do that. Uh, monitors. See a bunch of the different things, different systems that'll check for you. And then the logs, which is pretty self-explanatory. Performance. We don't need that. We have quarter mile time, thousand foot, eighth mile, three thirty foot, sixty foot. We can also do zero to sixty, last and fastest. So we might have to play with that if Monica lets us. <laughs> so all right, guys, let's take this out on the road and check out these apps in uh, in action. Cruising down the road, we got the OBD Harry app open. So let's click on live data, reconnect. If they really wanted to be slick, they put some old 56K modem noise to go on while it's connecting. You know, all the squeaky stuff. Monica's ignoring me. So let's see what we have. Let's go back. Fuel system, engine coolant 203, engine RPM 1500, vehicle speed 58 miles per hour, fuel ratio 14.7. Pretty neat if you ask me. Let's go over to one of these charts. Let's see what we got here. Monica, keep your eyes on the road, because I can't. <laughs> Let's and we're going to play with just engine RPM on. Holy crap, bouncing all over the damn place. It would be nice to maybe change the scale to push it out, but I bet if I hit the gas, it'll adjust the scale. There we go. I kind of like being able to watch the charts. 
Kind of a neat touch. All right, so that's the OBD Harry app. Let's check out the OBD Fusion app. And again, we're gonna have to connect. And for this one, we're gonna check out the dashboard. You should see it shows 58 miles an hour, 196 degree temperature, you have the RPMs. Fuel rate, I'm gonna burn three gallons an hour. And the battery, so we can swipe over, get the digital versions of, looks like a lot of the same, a little bit different. All right, you know what we gotta do now? Monica, what do we gotta do? Rev it up real, real fast. Yeah. So if we swipe over, oops, that's not what I wanted. If we swipe over to the other screen, we're going to the performance button. It says, warning, have a lot of fun. All right, guys, let's give this a go. See what happens. I got my dogs in the car and they definitely didn't like it. You alright, Scooty? That wasn't even fast. Not impressive at all. Let's give the old 0 to 60 a try. See how this works. Coming up on a stop sign, so we'll be able to test it out. So 0 to 60 was 7.74. Well, there you have it, guys. There's the OBD2 Bluetooth scan tool. I think this thing's pretty damn cool. Now, for a long time, I've had the corded one that you plug in, and all it does is really tell you the codes, and sometimes if you pay up for one, you can get it to do a few other things, but this thing's so cheap, and it has the traditional stuff of telling you the codes, what's wrong with the car, but then... When you're playing around with these other apps and you can have those little like custom dashboards put in or you can chart uh, different functions of the car, the 0-60 to 60 thing and the quarter mile thing, I don't know if it's entirely accurate but uh, it's just fun to play with e either way. So I think it's pretty cool. I'll put a link down below, it is an affiliate link of course if you want to check it out. Make sure you give it a like, subscribe for an already subscriber. Thanks to VPeak for giving me that for free. And thanks to the developers of the apps that gave me free full versions, the OBD Harry app and the OBD Fusion app. I'll put links to those in the description also. So if you pick up one of these Bluetooth scanners, be sure to download those apps. And So thanks for watching, guys.